Hello, welcome to the Roadside Workshop. My name is Daniel. So I had a customer who was who wanted to order some um, custom-made nuts that have two holes on the sides and an M16 thread in the middle. Now they were quoted something around six dollars for one of these and uh, that seems pretty ridiculous because this isn't some kind of special plastic it's uh, it's fairly regular POM or polyacetate uh, plastic. So they uh, bought these kind of nuts here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them I'm going to drill two holes on the sides so they have two points of, uh, of locking then I'm going to turn them down as such this is a half roughed out test sample and uh, then I'm going to give them this tool to lock it with now this is um, this is actually I found this piece in the scrap pin scrap bin and this was used for um, for a bicycle brake lock mechanism thing and it just stayed there for a year so I found this and it matches up with the OD quite well as you can see so I took an M4 bolt I turned down the outer threads as such and now it fits quite well okay so the tool works as such that you insert the bolt tighten it lightly and then you have the lock nut which goes in like this and as you can see there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of a gap here and I think the OD is still about one, 0 0.1 millimeters too, uh, too high or about I think about four thousandths of an inch okay so I have 150 of these to do I have a small head start already did these and I'm gonna go over to the drill press and show my setup okay so here's my setup I've locked the uh, the the machining jaws down uh, sorry the I've locked down the the vise to the drill bed I have a soft jaw extremely soft jaw this is actually rubber on a uh, uh, aluminum backing which which uh, rests on the uh, unmoving jaw I guess and um, I have a nut for the spacing because w when I tried to uh, lock it in it's it wanted to pull itself sideways because it's it's not exactly the the best kind of uh, vice available I have in the uh, chuck I have a center point drill or a stub drill depending on how you call it and the uh, diameter which it leaves is 3.5 millimeters now the tool which uh, I showed you just just a second ago let me get it now the tool here uh, the pin that I machined down on, in the lathe slightly is about 3.4 millimeters this this gives a little bit of, uh, of clearance if the hole isn't lined up perfectly or such okay so um, I have a pretty good rhythm going and you can uh, you can take a look right so the first initially what I do I measured it out so this edge should be flush with this side so I put it here just feel it with my finger tighten it slightly not too much because it actually moves the the center away quite a bit and that's what that's one of the problems I had initially where the I, I tightened it so much that it went into the rubber and uh, the hole was misaligned uh, for about a, a about about a millimeter which is a bit too much for me but um, this is how it works
Okay, so here's my uh, my very light duty machine. It's a mini lathe, to say the least. And um, I've set it up as I have a bolt chucked inside the uh, chuck, I guess. This is an M16 thread. And now if I want to turn down the nut, uh -huh, this one is actually missing one side. So if I want to turn it down, I'm going to move my carriage away slightly. I'm going to insert it on here. Okay. Okay. Sort of finger tight locked. Okay. Gonna move you slightly this way. Okay. And the bolt is 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 not exactly running running concentric with the chuck, but it's close enough where we can sort of get a okay finish on the on the OD. So, um, with plastic, especially with this kind of plastic, the slower it turns the better, because the higher you go, it starts melting the plastic. And um, because I don't have any other tools other than a, a threading tool and a parting tool, uh, I'm using inserts because they're actually cheaper than, uh, than buying tools one by one, which is crazy I know, but I'm in, a I'm in a bit of a special situation with a small lathe. Okay. So I'm going to take a few turns here. It's cleaning up it quite, quite nicely. So I'm actually not going to be worried too much about the OD because the there's enough space for it to fit but rather I want to make sure it works well with the with the tool that it's intended to work with. So yeah, we have about 0 0.2 millimeters left to go on the OD and the sort of the finished OD should be around 23.3 millimeters. That's sort of what we're aiming for. Gets, gets stringy, so that means it was already too hot. Okay, let's test it with the tool. Pretty good fit. I think this is okay. Yeah, this is actually, it's already gripping it, so this is a good fit. Now, while this is, the OD is now done, it's filled with all this stuff, which is, which I'm gonna uh, clean out later with a scraper because it's it's much easier and I'm gonna take off uh, With the scraper. I'm gonna clean these edges as well, so it doesn't have all this uh, Stringy junk on it, and it's gonna look nice for the customer 